Uh, Judge, good morning to you. It's always a pleasure to speak to somebody of your position and your stature. Uh, I would like to just get your reaction uh, to the Commission's statement. Morning, Gareth. Morning to the viewers. Uh, in a nutshell, it is satisfying that this long drawn out proceeding is now seemingly coming to a conclusion. It's not ended yet, but at least after nearly 13 years, we now finally have a verdict from a tribunal duly appointed in terms of the Judicial Service Commission Act. I imagine this is going to raise questions, Judge, about uh, the various cases uh, that uh, Thorpe had been involved in uh, during, during his time. Would that be a fair comment, that it will now put the spotlight on anything that he presided over? Uh, Gareth, not directly. Of course, the fact that he has committed gross misconduct uh, so many years ago doesn't mean that he has been guilty ever since. Uh, it does, however, mean that he is a person who is not fit and proper to be a judge. And if so found by the Commission, he has to be reported to Parliament, which must then decide by a two-thirds majority to remove him from office. It doesn't mean that all of his judges' judgments are invalid, no. Uh, what does this say uh, as far as a public opinion and a public uh, trust in our judiciary is concerned? So many people uh, often criticize uh, South Africa for not following through on uh, these kinds of, of cases and these kinds of investigations. Now the JSC coming out at least with a judgment on this. What does it say for public trust uh, in the judiciary? Gareth, it, it, it does say that disciplinary proceedings are there to be used. They are there to protect the integrity, the standing, the stature of the judiciary as a whole. As long as this case had been hanging against Judge Slope, there had always been a cloud. The Judicial Service Commission can now act with due speed. It still has some steps to go through, but it ought to do so to conclude this matter in order, as you say, to re-establish or to, to reaffirm the integrity of the judiciary as a whole. If I may, the courts of public opinion, if I can pose this question to you, Judge, uh, so many people commenting that uh, this should result in Judge John Chlope uh, stepping down as a result of this. Where do you stand on this? Do you agree? Uh, I certainly agree. We, we, we in freedom under law at least 10 years ago had urged Judge Slope publicly, if not to resign, at least to take leave, to not actually appear on the bench while under such a cloud. Of course, we repeat that request to him now. It is all the more desirable that he not be on the bench and that judges, other judges, litigants, the general public, legal practitioners, don't see sitting on the bench where there should be a, a, the representation of justice a person against whom such a serious finding has been made. He uh, should not be there. Uh, Judge, a final question to you. I've got uh, about a minute left with you. I'd love to ask you this question. I understand the JSC are going to be interviewing uh, multiple judges for various positions over the next uh, couple of weeks or so. Uh, how do judges... Uh, avoid controversies like this in future. Final question to you. There's a, there's a code of judicial conduct which has a whole string of do's and don'ts and recommendations recognized by international standards. Above and beyond that, of course, there is always plain common sense and common decency. A judge should always, whether in court or outside court, whether socially or professionally, never, ever behave in a manner which brings the judiciary into disrepute. Uh, it, it's perfectly simple. You behave yourself at all times when in the public view. I really appreciate your time in speaking to us. Uh, Judge Johan Krichler from Freedom Under Law joining us here on the South African Morning. My thanks to him.